Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I realized at the end of the last part that you can't really see me do this when the end screens are in the way, so there you go. <laughs> Alright, next level, 1-4, it's Bird to the Bashful's Fort! And you notice that there's a little ceiling shaft there, keep that in mind for something in the future. Oh, look at this, see this block? It transforms into an egg, which you can use to knock over buckets to get stuff on the inside. If you hit the bucket like this, it won't work. <laughs> you gotta actually spin it around upside down by hitting it on the side like that. So yeah, th that was an optional bucket, by the way, and notice that there's th two, I should say three segments here with two lines in the middle. This one's got four segments and three lines in the middle. This one's gonna fall. <laughs> That's your cue because it's different. But it's actually pretty easy to avoid that if you're, yeah. It's not really anything dangerous or anything like that. But look at that, there's another ceiling path thing. That's it's another sort of hint thing that you should be looking out for, maybe. Maybe. Shy guys are having a good time on this spiky carousel. And here's another one that's gonna fall! Oh no! Oh no! There's a flower, but there's also... A crack block. Shoot an egg straight up at it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a bunch of coins and stuff up here. I don't think there's any red coins, though, if I recall correctly. It's just like a little bonus area of sorts, and it'll eventually lead you back to this shaft over here, and I jumped over that hole to get a coin past the, the hole there. But yeah, if I go just, like, into it, I'll just fall into it like that. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I just wanted to get that last little bitty coin at the corner, I guess, because I'm feeling Wario levels of greed right now, I guess. So now if we go the other way, yep, there's more, but you're gonna find yourself stuck on these blocks, because, yeah, there's breakable blocks all along the way. But anyway, you can actually get a little preview of the upcoming level just by going through this right here. Lava is one-hit kill, and that, uh... Bouncing guy there, that was Bert the Bashful. Yes, but, but, there will be a bigger one in the future. <laughs> let's just put it that way. Anyway, let's go back over to here, and uh, you can kill the Berts by hitting them with eggs, or ground pounding them if I recall correctly. Uh, let's just try a, oh, I was gonna say, let's just try a ground pound here for kicks. Yeah, that's what I thought, and you can get stars from defeating them too, but when they're not in pairs, it, one just jumps around like this on its own, and then it's kinda, kinda harder to ground pound, because it doesn't stay in place or anything like that. Whoops! Oh jeez, I can't hit you. I can't hit you, you're just too, too wily for me. <laughs> I guess I could have ground pounded maybe with a really good timed ground pound, but eh. Oh, and this is a little tutorial, I guess you could say, on these little flipper things. Once you go through them, you can't go back through them. Uh, sort of, kind of, but so, but you can go around this way, and yeah. <laughs> as long as you're going through the flippers down, it's, it's pinball 101, yeah. But you can't go up through the flippers. Uh, I'm not gonna even bother with these breakable blocks now, by the way, because, yeah, we, we kinda, we kinda got stuff cleared out pretty nicely. <laughs> I don't, I don't think there's anything else to get up there, as I went, it, did I just despawn the other, or, oh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's, it's too late for you, oh no, they came back, they came back, oh, I don't have to kill them anyway, but, yeah, <laughs> there's plenty of midpoints and whatnot for us to get stars and stuff like that. Uh, I think there's a, yeah, red coins there, red coins there. Uh, I just want to see here. Mm, what's around here? Oh, by the way, if you suck up these bad boys, oh, well, I don't, no, they're not, they're not jumping out of the lava high, oh, that one is, no. Uh, but if you grab one that's jumping out high enough, you can actually blow fire at stuff. <laughs> it doesn't work on other fire-based enemies, but it works on most stuff, I gotta say. Okay, so I'm at nine, uh, 29 stars. And we are about maybe, maybe, maybe halfway done with the the main portion of the castle. So it's that one's gonna fall. Stars, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Woo! And okay, so, so, see this? See that those dotted lines down there? Yeah, when you just when you pop one of those question mark flying giblets. 
they, well at least I should say a nearby one, what they tend to do is they make a, oh hey Blarg, what they tend to do is they make a, uh, uh, bridge pop out around it, but not all of them will do that because they're sometimes clumped all around there and you gotta figure out which one it is by trial and error. There's usually like an egg block or something there to kind of help you along there. And needless to say, that flower is a little bit dangerous to collect for obvious reasons. Oh, look at that, it's a flower. <laughs> That's another flower. That one's also pretty well hidden if you're not observant to what's above you. Because, yeah, yeah, like if the camera's down over here, you're like, hmm, hmm there's nothing really. Nothing really showing, but when you go up here, you'll notice that the camera goes up. And it's like, hmm, maybe there was something back over there, and there indeed was. <laughs> and yeah, the camera only goes up to about here, though, so. <laughs> anyway, let's go around, and yeah, he doesn't really tend to hurt you. He just doesn't seem to pop up high enough. He's just there to scare the bejesus out of you. <laughs> that key door is to actually go forward, but we got other stuff to do. And that other stuff. Oh, these guys are invincible, so... Yeah, that's, that's why I'm avoiding them. <laughs> I've got other stuff to show you. Like this hidden coin area of sorts. That's not really all that dangerous to go through, but it's just there to be fancy. And make you get glee when you find it. You'll probably get a 1-up from the coins. Anyway, the key is... Over on the other side of this lava pool with this big ol' larg. <laughs> You, got, you probably want to hit Tim with eggs if he's blocking your way, because it'll, you'll poop him back into the lava. That's what the egg blocks are for. And there's our key! I pushed the, the vase off the ledge and it shattered. You can also knock the vase back with eggs, but it's just a little bit a little bit quicker that way. So yeah, hit him with eggs, he'll go away for, for a little bit, and then you can bypass him. And let's just refill our eggers up over here. Oh, that's right, I got a key. That means, <laughs> that means I can't get up to six over here, so... Shy guys, they aren't going to respawn, but that's okay, I got a... Uh, egg there, or I could go back through the door. <laughs> That'll also work. Um, how, wait, how's my stars going here? Okay, I just need one more flower somewhere. I think the flower is in here, and you need a full flurry of eggs to be able to pull this off, probably. Uh, unless you could do like. No, that's just gonna bounce in the corner rapidly and it's just gonna die off. Yeah, if you do that, you kill them all off. You get a flower! Yeah, it's a room that's incredibly suspicious. <laughs> doesn't seem to have anything, so of course you're going to want to try and kill everything to see if you can get a prize out of it. Or at least I would think. <laughs> okay, now what I'd like to do is refill on eggs before I get over to the boss. Just for the sake of speed and ease of defeating said boss, and try not to take any sort of hits along the way too, because you're at 30 stars. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter, because that... I'm surprised you two aren't stacking up, by the way. But yeah, uh, because it doesn't really matter, because I got this, yeah, that right there along the way. Plus I got the other pipe there that I can use to get myself unlimited red eggs of sorts. Because, you know, through the bouncing technique that I showed you two, that uh, would normally contain stars, if I recall correctly. That question mark thing. But anyway, boss time! It's Bert the Bashful! Oh, man! Oh, he looks normal size. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, camera, how's it going? Ah, you stole the baby sign! Yoshi baby, the killer of this! I think that's where Eggman got his line from in in the Sonic Adventure series. Get a load of! Get a load of! Get a load of this! So yeah, Kamek makes them all big, and you're perfectly safe in this corner here, or the other side, if uh, you're if you're ducking over here, and all you gotta do is hit him with eggs. You can get eggs just by lapping them up with your tongue if, you, if he's in your way and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's not really that big of a deal of a boss. It's the first game's boss, so it's just there to be as like a beginner boss of sorts. It just takes a bunch of hits, and you'll notice that every time you hit him, he jumps a little bit more wildly, and his, uh, his pants. You see something about his pants? Yeah, they aren't quite up as high as they used to be. Hmm, like, uh-oh, oh no, oh no, uh-oh, this, this, can't, this can't be good, uh-oh, where's my sensor bar, where's my sensor bar, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that long of a level, but there's some entertaining stuff along the way. 
Oh yeah, and it's also pretty well designed overall, because you get to see the enemies before you actually get to battle them and whatnot. You know that bird, the first first bird the bashful that you see was down below your feet, so you could watch their movement and whatnot, but you most certainly want to bypass them for that flower. Oh yes. Well, unless you're not going for 100%, but I do recommend you go for 100% because goodies will be there along the way. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when I do the next level, which features amazing daisies, apparently. I mean, look at that little preview. <laughs>